Hey there, Toby Love here with Cross Country Mortgage. And I am coming to you this week is why you should still buy and how you can do that. So I'm getting a lot of clients, obviously, that are getting priced out of the market by interest rates right now. Not necessarily housing prices, because if you've noticed, or even if you haven't noticed, that's starting to slow a little bit. Right now, it's more of an affordability thing. So when interest rates were really, really low, you may have qualified for way more than what you wanted to spend. And that all worked out great because you could have this level of, of lifestyle that you wanted and still buy a house too. Now it's not quite that way. Interest rates have gone up, so payments are higher. And a lot of times when I'm meeting with clients and even though they qualify for the payment and qualify for the home, they feel like they can't afford it. And I think that now is a great time to go back in and revisit your budget. Or if you don't have a budget, you create one. All of us, including myself, probably have subscriptions that we don't use. Maybe we eat out too much, drink Starbucks too much, or Dunkin' Donuts, or whatever your coffee of choice is. I was just joking with a friend the other day about getting a Keurig instead of going to Starbucks. Um, it's real, real life. You could have that Keurig in your new house that you're living in. I was also talking to that same friend and um, after she was done reviewing her budget, she found $781 that could be eliminated. So how wonderful was that? Because that is a huge amount to be able to put towards a house payment every month. Interest rates aren't gonna be high forever. A lot of times when I say that, I get the response, well, I'll just wait till they come down. The challenge is housing prices aren't gonna come down more than likely. Even though the market is starting to soften a little bit just due to the interest rates and the buyer pool shrinking somewhat, housing prices are gonna stay firm because at the end of the day, even though that buyer pool is smaller, we still have a supply and demand issue, which means we have more buyers than we do houses. So it's going to remain stable. So housing prices could stay the same or go up, but if you're waiting for the housing prices to come down, then you may miss the boat. In addition to that, if you're waiting for housing prices to go down and interest rates continue to go up, even if they did go down, you're looking at such a huge difference in interest rates that it would it would negate any savings you would have from the prices going down. So if you want to explore that more, please reach out to me. I am more than happy to sit down, look at your budget, help you with that, and see where you could figure out, you know, two, four, six hundred, maybe even a thousand dollars more that you're just spending every month on things that could essentially be eliminated, at least for the time being. So I hope that helps. That's how you can buy a house now and afford it. And then of course, when interest rates come back down, you can refinance. So buy now, refinance later. My number is 951-704-7421. I hope you found value. If you did, please like, share, and comment. Talk soon. Bye.